What's up, everybody? Fravis here with another episode of Magic Duels Origins, and good morning to those of you, uh, whoever you are out there, who might be uh, watching me while you're eating breakfast. You, you you know who you might be. I did take some uh, changes uh, to this to this deck today. Uh, I'm not too uh, happy with them. I, I realized that after I, I removed all the cards I didn't like, I was left with a bunch of things that uh, like I have no bombs anymore. I, I I like made a desperate scramble for some bombs. I guess I'll. I'll rush through it at the uh, the end of the video to show you guys what I'm what I'm running, but I'm not too happy with it. I oh God, this avatar is really awesome. I love that guy. Oh uh, man. Um, yeah, I'm scared. I'm. Whoop, let me move that microphone there. I'm I'm scared of what I got. Let me just say that. And yeah, I kept Knight of the White Orchid. I don't know why. I kept a lot of this crap. Do I like this? I got I got a lot of plays, so I think I can handle this. Uh, I put in a little more removal through Fiery Impulse. Uh, I really like Fiery Impulse. I think it is definitely one of the best, uh, one of the best cards um, around in this format. One of, one of. Uh, I think in let's see, what was it? Was, was it 2014? I think 2014. The best deck that they had was, or the best card that was there was the um, uh, Path to Exile. I think that was great. I think that was one of the best cards. Ever. I'm just gonna beef that up. I mean, it's three damage, which I mean, I know it's, it works better for a double strike, but it does let me scry, and I do want that for my scry because I normally need like double white for pretty much everything else, and I don't want to go fishing. I want, I want to play. I want to play. I don't want to go fishing for another land. I want the plays. I got this in case he drops something that I don't want to deal with. Actually, this would drop two somethings, doesn't he? Hmm. Never mind. <laughs> I won't do anything. I'll just play my other Menace guy. Ooh, Perilous Mirror. Uh, can I avoid it? Yeah, Sort of? Okay, let's pretend I can. Let's pretend I can. I'll just go ahead and swing in right now. He can't block this. This really isn't a double strike deck, is it, you guys? This is more of a, like, don't touch. No, you can't do that, man. You can't do that, man. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You gotta take it. You gotta take it. That's how it works. But don't worry, you can stop this one. <laughs> as far as you think, he, he, he can't stop this one, actually. If he does play something that I don't like, I guess Fiery Impulse will uh, will come on down. Pop that little bastard, unless it's going to be a 3-drop. It is not a 3-drop. Uh, actually, I don't need to Fiery Impulse that. I'm just going to grasp with a Hyromancer and leave it at that, I think. Yep, that I think is exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, that's still what's gonna happen. Grasp of the Hyromancer on this guy. And then do my little swing a ding ding thing. Go ahead and block that. If he wants to stop my unmenaced guy, he can, but he'll be losing somebody, which is A okay with me. I guess I could have Fiery Impulse, but I feel like that's a waste of Fiery Impulse. I can get rid of that card with uh, with my creature, so why would I want to why would I want to Fiery Impulse it? And if I do get another land, which I guess I'm due for, I, I'd be good for either Fiery Impulse or Twin Bolt or possibly both. If it's a fast land, it'll be both. I did put slow lands in here in the form of Evolutionary Wilds. Uh, well, that's no good. <laughs> okay, well that's a poops. Oopsie pops. It's kind of weird that he did it that way. I mean, he's yeah, I mean, he, he can't block, so he might as well swing. Fair enough. He's still losing that damage race, though. Now, he knows it, but at least he's he's getting some value out of here. I I can understand. Yep, there there's my slow land. <laughs> did I call that shit? All right, let's go on in there and uh, smack this guy across the face for two. Definitely beating him here. Obviously, this Evolving Wild is going to get us a Plains, but I won't do it right now. Let's hope I, I don't forget that trigger. So tomorrow, I have another uh, draft. It's going to be a double draft. 30 bucks for two drafts, one at 7, one at 10. Uh, this is PM, of course. I finally got a friend of mine to come with me. Man, it's actually hard to get friends to come with me to the store to actually draft with me. I mean, it's somewhat easier because uh, another one of my friends has a cube. Ooh. Ooh, oh my. Oh my. 
another one of my friends actually has a cube and it's easier to deal you can, uh, what, what are you gonna do you're tapped out you know <laughs> like there's nothing for you to do here and here comes my planes and I gotta kill that Pia right now hmm this hurts I'm gonna do it like this I'm gonna kill Pia like this because what, what are you gonna do dude there's, there's just nothing he can do I'm gonna do it like this so I can get in there a little nicer and now actually I'm not so sure what I want you, you still can't block that you killed the wrong one all right it's gonna be Knight of the White Orchid actually because he'll ramp me who am I kidding on the other hand, I can keep my my twin bolt open, but I, I'd rather get ramped here. Yeah, I'd rather get ramped here. And then uh, next turn, I guess I can twin bolt pre-combat. Ooh, oh my. Well, he's able to wipe the field here. Ooh, holy shit. Wow. All right, well, hey. That's, <laughs> that's what we get. Hmm. Okay, so let me think about this. I can't really put anything down. What's the best way to get, get rid of all these guys? Obviously, it's a swing first. Swing first, make him do the trades, and then I will twin bolt the last guy, and then I will put down my consul, consul's lieutenant. Ooh, double block in there, very nice. Fine by me. Uh, actually, wait a minute. No, let me think about this. Let me think about this. I can pop two of these guys and take no damage. Because right now, I'm taking four damage. I can force that four damage down. Do I give a shit? Do I give a shit? I don't know. Do I want to pop these guys first? I'll take the 4 damage. I'm at 19 life. If he needs to deal 4 damage to me, that's fine. I'll save my twin bolts. I will save my twin bolts. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Uh, in this case, I think uh, the champion, then. That's what I'll do. I was thinking about it. it. Took me a minute. Made me think. Wasn't sure, but uh, I like this. I'm also really anxious now because, like, uh, I don't want to be uh, mi the misplay hour with uh, Fravis. So I don't want to. I, it, you know, you know who you are. You heard it. You heard it, man. You know it. <laughs> okay, good. This is actually great. If he does end up blocking with that, which he, I, he might actually have no choice but to block with that. Uh, if he chooses to, I can kill it pretty damn fast. The second he blocks it. Yep, there it goes. Boom, boom, it's gone. First strike damage. Kapow. My 2-2 two -two killed you 4-4. Four -four. What are you going to do about it? Not much. But I will uh, continue, my, continue my plays. So I have almost double his life and a better field. He has a few more cards than me in hand. And hopefully that's what he... I mean, he's only got four lands, so I, I imagine only one play out of him. Maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not... He is playing the Gruul. Let's take a quick quick look up here. Uh, well, he's playing a weird Gruul. Oh, this is a weird deck. I'm not sure about this. I, I guess he's just playing the, um, Pia and Karen for the value. Perilous Mirror because he's not an idiot. Uh, I guess he expects that to be a great card. I don't know. This is a weird gruel deck. Not, not. I don't know. He's got a bit of a mishmash kind of stuff in here. All right, he can kill one of them. That's that's a good one to kill. That's a good one to kill. Oh, there were two plays here. All right. Well, I still have first strike, so I'll still be able to knock that thing out. Still got the first strike. He's uh, holding me off pretty well right now. Knight of the White Orchid also has first strike. The first strike is such a hard thing to say. I kind of just say it first. Strike, first strike with one S, all one word. He's thinking about this block. Um, 
I guess I wouldn't block here so I can keep that. I mean, it depends how many other plays he has in hand. If he has more plays and he can't keep that mana open, then I think it might be better to block there. Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't have thrown that away. If I could keep that as a legitimate blocker, I would have, because that's an unkillable blocker as far as he knows at, at, the, at that time. But I don't know. I don't know. It depends what he has. All right. This is not going to help you out. <laughs> I mean, he did get rid of a red source, which is kind of a pain, but he spent his entire turn doing that, and it's it even let me ramp up. It, this is not... Ooh. Uh, let's see, I'm doing two, so this will actually do four to him now. Plus the five, six there. That's a lot. He's down to two. He's, uh, he's dead to quite a bit right now. Is there any need to play Knight of the White Orchid? Can he, can he wipe the field? I'm not going to play it. Uh, there, there's no reason to drop all my cards. Uh, I have him dead next turn, almost no matter what. He needs to wipe the board. If he can wipe the board, then I don't want my Knight of the White Orchid out there, frankly. So, there you go. <laughs> Let's see what he's got. He's gone. I'm sorry, man. Well, good try from him. That's... Uh, oh, I know what he's playing now. He's playing the Land Destruction deck. Very nice. Or at least he's got the cards in the Land Destruction deck. I have my own Land Destruction deck, which you guys are aware of, but uh, it's not quite uh, not quite the same build as he, he has. Creator. <laughs> That's some Neptor tier talking right there. Creator. Neptor. Bonus points if you guys know what I'm talking about. Neptor. Come on. Leave it in the comments if you know. Bonus points. All right. Let's do a couple more of these guys. Double Troubles. Double Troubles. You know, it occurred to me that I didn't actually do um, enough episodes of my enchantment deck, which was doing okay. I would like to fix it up a little more, but I want to do some more. Maybe next week. Next week I'll do some more enchantment. This week I don't know why, but I'm in I'm I'm in I'm in the need for some double strike. Actually, next week it's possible that Battle for Zendikar actually gets released for this this freaking game, so we might actually be able to be playing some of that. Who knows when they're going to be releasing it? They, I mean, they, God damn, don't. I, I, you know what? I'm not going to make every episode a, a Let's Bash Stainless episode, so I'm not even going to talk about that. Okay, let's. They're doing the best they can. <laughs> That's the best I'm going to say about them. They're doing the best they can. <clears throat> Leave it at that. Alrighty, uh, we're going up against a guy who does not give a damn about backgrounds and avatars. Which is the first sign that I don't like him. And his name, I guess, is Stormy. That's interesting. That's actually going to be the middle name of my, my firstborn child. <laughs> um, Stormageddon, Destroyer of Worlds. That's right. You heard it here first, folks. This is much better than the first one. Wow. wow how come I, I am getting so lucky with having that uh, Goblin Gl Glory Chaser in my hand pretty much every first turn? I'm really happy about that. Well, I don't know if I'm happy. All right, maybe not happy. Happy is actually a bit of a strong word for my emotion there. I'm, I'm grateful. How about that? That seems a little, a little more accurate. Okay, so now my twin bolt is open. If I want it to be, I could play this guy. And guess what? I do actually. I mean, how many times do you see that played? <laughs> how many times do you see this card played? You have never seen this card played. Just go ahead. And be honest, there are no equipment-based decks in this game. Okay? Zero. <laughs> what the hell? When he becomes renowned, I search. Oh, and he killed my glory chaser. That's a sucker. Use a suckers. Maybe he has... That kind of tells me that he's got chump blockers, I guess? For the 3-3 uh, for the, the three, three that I'm about to have, who's also going to have a... A, an equipment, but actually the equipment comes into my hand. Do I have any other plays with three drops? No, I do not. Ooh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take uh, one of those and I'm gonna put it down too. Because I don't want to, the only other plays I have is uh, to drop the Fiery Impulse or Twin Bolt. Neither of which I want to do at the moment. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Leave it there. Leave it right there. 
Next turn, I'll be able to drop the uh, the champion and then swing for four, or swing at least with a four four. Uh, unless, nope, he does not. Okay, do I want to chump it? I mean, I do. Do I want it to chump me? Is the question here. I don't really want to waste. I don't want to waste my twin bolt on that. So if he wants to, if he wants to do the trade, I'm happy for it. Let's see what he does. He obviously does do the trade. Seems legit. Um, looking at a languish happening here. I'm a little worried about that. Do I play around languish? Do I play around languish? Jeez, you guys. Uh, I'm all right. Boy, what do you think? What? All right. First of all, first question: What is he playing? Could be elves. If it's elves, he probably doesn't have the language. I don't know enough. All right, it's a risky move. It's a risky move. I'm not sure if that's the right way to play. I did it. We're gonna find out if it's right or wrong right now. I mean, he's looking at seven damage if he doesn't language here. That is not a language. That's good. Okay. <laughs> it was the risk paid off. Alright. Actually, it's more than seven. It's eight. It's eight damage. Ah, okay. Golgari control. I see. Actually, that could still be elf. This could still be an elf deck, but uh, I'm more likely to believe it's uh, a Golgari control deck. Mm, which also means... Uh, actually, in this case, I think I am going to... Yeah, in this case, I will pop this now, because I want all that damage to go through right now. And, by the way, I can attach it to this guy for even more damage. Now I don't have my Celestial Flare, but I am okay with that. That's more damage. A lot more damage. Oh my gosh, this... This sinks so much better with, uh... Oh, he didn't attack alone! That's so silly, of course. I forgot about that little stipulation. Damn. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, that's still what I would have played, uh, regardless. I want that on the uh, on the on the on the double striker, just in case he's got something else for me. But he's got nothing here. He's got a little Nissa who's gonna not survive for very long. He doesn't have enough land unless he can ramp somehow. I don't think he can ramp with uh, two lands. Not, there's no rampant growth in this format. I th I don't think so. That's it for that. Gonna be getting hit for five here. He's probably gonna scoot, scootly doodles. I mean, he he has to evolutionary leap first, but that, ah, that that's a ton of damage, man. Oh, there's his language, and it just went to the bottom of his library, so that sucks for him. Sucks for him. Yeah, he's gone. So he was playing language. So this is Golgari control. This is not elves. I did. It was hard. It's hard to tell the difference sometimes because they can. There's there's some overlap in those two in those two decks. Uh, no need to put anything else down. He's at two. I'm pretty much I'm pretty much done here. Is this my second game or third? Oh, he killed somebody, but it doesn't matter. Hmm, that's not the one I would have killed, but all right. <laughs> that's that's fine. Your decisions. Hmm, feels good to win sometimes. Was it feel? Did it feel good to win this time? Eh. Felt okay. I felt it was a little face rolling. I've been face rolling a lot recently. I, I wonder if like the number of pl of like good players who who've been playing this have dropped recently because I'm I've been wi my my win rate has significantly increased, which makes me feel a little nervous. I kind of like having a wider variety of skill levels here, and I feel like some people, so maybe maybe the good players have left at this point. I'm not sure. I'm not. I, I don't know. Uh, I mean. You know, you can't do everything by by win ratio though, because you go in like the high end high end Magic games. Uh, you you see like the top players usually get I don't know around sixty seven percent wins. That's it, just like two thirds. But then again, I am talking about like drafting and in, in a little more competitive formats than this one. So um, it's probably easier for you as as a as a viewer. And as someone who is exposed to a variety of play styles, 
it's probably easier for you to get uh, a higher win ratio than uh, than 67%. But I don't know you, so who knows? Maybe maybe you suck. <laughs> Odds are you don't. Odds are that you don't. But um, oh, this is ugh. oh gross. Uh, wow, again? Okay. I mean, the plays for days. The plays for days. Ladies and gentlemen, plays for days. Yeah, so anyway, I got a draft going tomorrow. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I am really enjoying uh, drafting Battle for Zendikar uh, at my local game store. Strongly recommend everybody to do it. I have other friends who are into it. Um... Well, I can't really say they're into it. I can't say that because they're not actually into it. They they mostly play EDH Commander, which is a format that I am not a fan of, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste your 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 precious virginity explaining it to you either. Um, it, it's a format that I'm I'm absolutely I, I, I'm not opposed to it, but I I don't enjoy it for a variety of reasons that I, I may or may not get into uh, at a future date. And they don't want to play a uh, draft. They don't want to pay 15 bucks to get into a, a draft at a local game store because, uh, wow, what a, what's some, some horrible draws here. Because they don't feel like this set is, uh, Battle for Zendikar set is going to get them any cards that they really want, especially in EDH. And I understand it. I, I get them. They're probably correct. F but first of all, Drafting is probably the best format of Magic the Gathering. Just flat out the best format to play Magic the Gathering in. Uh, secondly, Battle for Zendikar isn't really built around giant bomb cards. I, in fact, I don't like that when it, it when it is built like that. Uh, this is going to be awkward. I mean, he can't block it anyway. He can't block it anyway. Do I go for the extra damage here? I mean, what else am I gonna... Wh who else am I gonna put these Grip of the Hyromancers on, honestly? I mean, I know it has Menace, but who else is gonna get it? Really? Fine. I mean, whatever. It, it, it's an extra damage, you know? I mean, I don't... The the other option was to keep Twin Bolt open. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this wasn't the correct play. I, I have a hard time understanding. If he does put down another creature, I'll be able to tap that creature down and then leave his lord up. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, Battle for Zendikar isn't uh, built around bomby creatures. It's built around a lot of synergy. It's more of a synergistic uh, set, and I think that's really super cool. So you can't... So you need more things to work with themselves as opposed to one incredible card. Now, there are some singles, singletons, that are just incredible and work all the time. Uh, <clears throat> Gideon. But, it, I don't know. I don't know. The, the set is, is, is a little different from, from sets that just came out, you know, previously. And I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm having a good time, and I'm really excited for when it does come out for uh, Magic Duel's Origins. I absolutely cannot wait. I can wait because I have to, and because Stainless has, has deemed it the current iteration of their expansion unworthy to release upon the public. So, you know, I could just go ahead and grip the Hyromancer again. Alchemist Vial to stop three damage, really? Do you think that's fair, dude? Three damage when you're at 14. You didn't even hit 10 yet. I feel like you jumped the gun there, pal. Really, really did. And now you can't even swing in with your 2 3. I don't know. I guess he has other answers. He just wants to wait wait me out. Uh, nine out of ten times this guy is running Esperzoa, by the way, if he's running the artifact deck and he has Alchemist File. Almost certainty al almost certainly guaranteed to have Esperzoa somewhere in that deck. Because they, they just can't resist it. They can't resist that bouncity bounce bounce. By the way, if, uh, I'm going to have to just go ahead and apologize for yawning so much. It is now 1.06 in the morning for me, and I, am, I may or may not be completely beat. Uh, okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to do this now. 
I'm gonna do this now because I can't do it all on at once. Can't do it. Go ahead, pop me in the face for a I'm still smacking him for three. He doesn't have any real removal yet. I, I mean, if he's good, he'll have a disperse in there. This is an interesting card to have. Definitely can't play it now. Huh. There's a potential here for me to wipe his board and then drop this dude. Potentially. Potentially. Let's see if he's interested. I'm gonna swing in first. Oh no, I have to tap a creature down. Shit. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Then I guess I do want to twin bolt that thing before I put down uh, Relic Seeker. Because it's the only other play I really have here. Yeah, it's gonna be twin bolt. It's gonna be twin bolt. Guess it has to be. I keep forgetting I have to. Uh, it, it's not a May ability, it's an absolute must do ability. Oh, jeez, dude, you really run that? Come on. Give me a break here. Damn, I kinda wanna. Damn, I'm in trouble here. I could always put down another group of the Hyromancer. Ah, uh, useless. You still lost it. It's gone, bro. Shoot me in the face. Four damage. I'm in 12. Hmm, could have saved that for the, uh, the Thopters. Well, actually, I couldn't, because the Lord is still out, so... Very little for me to do in that situation. I'm in some... I'm in a pretty bad way, actually. I'm in a really bad way. I need some lands real bad. <laughs> I, am, I am getting totally mana fucked here. I mean, the other option is just to start throwing all these freaking grips of the Hyromancers onto my, onto my creatures every damn turn, but... I don't know. It's, it's. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't like that. It feels weird. It feels dirty. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Looks like Grip of the Hyromancer is going down. Oh, it's going down, baby. It's going down. If I do end up getting another land, actually, I think I still Grip of the Hyromancer here. Otherwise, possibly Knight of the White Orchid. Ugh. Man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this. You know what card I don't like? It's, uh... It's this guy right here. He's gotta go. He's no good. Do I want to do this? Say, so it's eight damage. And then... Let's see, how much would I smack him for? Pretty much just three. Three damage. I could hit him for four. I could hit him for four. I want to hit him for four? Huh. Okay, I'll block. I'll block. Fine. You win. Maybe that was a misplay. I don't know. Because I could have just put Knight of the White Orchid down next turn and. Ugh. Well, there's my. Well. It's no, no Knight of the White Orchid. <laughs> Could have still been uh, Uro's champion. Could be. Let's see, I am definitely dead next turn. So it kind of has to be this, right? Oh, jeez. It has to be. I got so mana fucked here, and now he's, he's blown past me. I want him, I want to kill the, uh, the Whirler Rogue, because it can make things unblockable. And that could just end me. Good. Okay, that's, this is what I want to have happen. He's got a block with the 2-2 two -two as well, man. You, you know this. Come on, man, really? No, both of them. Both of them, there you go. Uh, no, I want that dead. 
He could have just taken it too, and then just killed me in the, in the back swing, as far as he knew, but he knows I have another play, doesn't he? He's not that stupid. Oh, jeez. Uh, I think I just lost this. I think I just lost this. Man, what turn is this? Is this turn six and I only have three mana? That's like, or three lands? Not good. Plus, I was just drawn back to back here for the Hyromancers. I guess I could have been playing them, but it wouldn't have helped me much. I mean, I, I already had a thing with Menace out. I don't know. It, it's. I can't think of anything that I, I could have done differently. I feel like I was just kind of fucked here. But uh, regardless, good game for my opponent. I mean, you know, he, he's playing my my favorite deck. Not optimally, I have to say. Uh, I don't like Alchemist File, and I don't especially like Juggernaut. I mean, that thing just snapped eyes to uh, that thing just snapped eyes to a single mirror, so it's kind of goofy. And of course, he got that Lord out nice and early. I mean, at least I got rid of the Juggernaut, but I took too much damage now, and I'm absolutely dead next turn. Ah, there you go. You got me, man. GG. GG, son. Not much I can do with that. Oh, well. Um. Alright, went down a, went down a rank. I, I don't feel bad about it. I, uh, I, I got plenty of wins with this, with this damn deck. Not that I'm done with it. Uh, whoop, whoop, wrong one. Jeez. <laughs> Misplay hour, double trouble. I'll just show you uh, real quick what uh, what I what I fixed up here, or what I think I fixed up. I added uh, fiery impulse. Uh, that that should be obvious. I added a couple of these guys, which are uh, now going to be removed because they're stupid. Uh, also added a few sigil of valors. Uh, I like them because you can stick them on a guy with menace. Hey, th th this presumes that you have multiple creatures on the f on the on the field. If you stick it on the Menace guy, it's going to have essentially evasion, and if you stick it on a double striking guy, or hell, even even this guy, and you just swing alone with them, it's it's a pretty damn good uh, pretty damn good movement, I think. But I haven't been able to pull that off yet. Uh, still kind of curious whether or not. I also fixed the mana base. The mana base was a mess, and, and by fixing it, I mean uh, I kept it essentially exactly the same, and I just added a couple of evolving wilds. <laughs> it still split down the middle. As you can see, I got rid of most of my bombs. The only bomb I have now is Kithian's Irregulars, uh, and that and that's not even really a bomb, but it is kind of a big mana sink. Like if I have you know four planes somehow out of out of my out of my out of yeah, jeez. Ah oh, man, do I want to get rid of Rogue's Passage and put more white down? Because that, oh god, I don't know. If I did, for some miraculous reason, have six planes, I can, I can uh, drop this guy and put down. Uh, no, not six. I'm sorry, four planes and then two other, two other lands. I can, I can put this guy down and, and tap someone immediately. But uh, the real star players, honestly, are Rogue's Champion and Sky Hunter Skirmisher, and and surprisingly enough, actually, also Goblin Glory Chaser. Uh, the other guys, not so much. Uh, I still don't know how I feel about Knight of the White Orchid. I really don't like him very much. I really don't like Consul's Lieutenant very much. It's just these two drops just really don't... I, I don't know how I feel about them. Maybe I should move up a little. Do I have enough two drops? Put them into the three and fours a little? I don't know. I feel like there's still some more work to be done. If you guys have any comments for me, please let, let me know in the bottom. Uh, I'll... I'll definitely consider them. I do read uh, pretty much every... Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I just sign up for? I just said autocomplete. And they just... All they did was stick a bunch of lands on me. I don't want any of this. Guys, guys. Guys, don't embarrass me. Come on. Come on, you guys. Guild Gates. Ugh, oh, I hate Guild Gates. I hate Guild Gates. I'll, I'll, no, I won't, I won't even take that. That's so dumb. What will I take? I don't know. I don't know what I want. A couple of perilous mirrors, I guess. Whatever. Who cares? Anyway. I will see you guys next time. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Let me know if uh, if, if, if you want to play a game with me, or if you uh, notice that I, that I did something stupid. Please correct me. I am dumb, and I need to learn. I am so bad at this game. Um, Alright. I'll see you next time, you guys. Bye. Thank you.